Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm back here on a very windy day, but the rain is over, thank goodness. We're taking a look at a 2023 Hyundai Sonata SEL with that convenience package. So let's see what this SEL Sonata brings to the table in this mid-sized sedan market and let's dig in. All right, we are looking at the front end of this Sonata in carbon blue, which looks black, but then when the sun hits it, you see that blue come out. So it's a really cool color. We're looking at LED headlights, LED day daytime running lamps, that blacked out grill with the Hyundai badge in the middle. Let me know if you think that Hyundai badge should be in black chrome or blacked out as well. Uh, I think that might look a little bit better, but let me know what you think. We have functionality in the grill, top and bottom, and functional side air curtains as well. Nice look. Wheel and tire package on this Sonata SEL. We have a silver wheel. Pretty, you know, I like the design, and I like this very subtle light gray accents in between the spokes. I think it looks very, very nice against this carbon blue. Standard brake and rotor package tires. We have Michelin Primacy all seasons on this 215 on the width, 55 series sidewall, 17s, all four corners, front wheel drive. All right, the full side profile on this Sonata looks good. Carbon blue is a nice color. Very, very dark as far as the blue goes, but it's a nice color. I like the silver trim around the windows. I like that hard body line going across the bottom of the doors. And the hard body line coming across the top and ending up in the rear tail lights. I think it gives it a good sense of motion. And I think it's a nice looking car. As we move in closer, we are color matched on the side view mirror. I don't know if you can see, but there's that blue sparkle in the sun, which gives it that carbon blue look. Very nice. LED turn signals. We are color matched on the front and rear door handle with a little chrome accent splashed in. Up top, we have a color matched roof with shark fin antenna, and we have that oversized sunroof. Rear end of the Sonata, I like that trunk lid kick up on the back. I think that looks really cool. We have LED tail lights that wrap all the way around the bottom, right underneath the Hyundai badge and up the other side, which I think gives it a really unique look. And we have standard turn signals in the back with bulbs. Down below, again, we have that body color and then gloss black underneath that around the license plate. And we do have a dual exhaust coming out of the right side only. But overall, I think it's a very nice looking back end of the Sonata. All right, engine time under the hood of this Sonata. We're looking at a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated inline four-cylinder engine mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission. 191 horsepower, 181 pound-feet of torque, MPGs, 27 in the city, 37 on the highway, 31 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. All right, we are inside this Sonata SEL for 2023. And before we get started with the interior review, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much does this Sonata cost? Well, the way this one is optioned with the convenience package, you're looking at an MSRP of $31,225. So let's check out the interior. All right, starting with the foot box, we have a nice large dead pedal, brake and accelerator, all rubber finish. We do have carpeted floor mats in the trunk of the car. Turning to the seats, we have power seats for the driver, manual seats for the front passenger, and then we have this very light tan. I don't know if the tan comes through, but it's almost like a stone color interior. It feels like cloth, but it doesn't, I don't think it is cloth. It's some kind of Fibrex material. And I think with the insert, I think it looks all right, but it is very light in color and that means it will stain easily. All right, we have the door panel going on here and I like the door panel, especially with that 
stone color brought through on the armrest to break up things up. We have soft touch material up top. We have that nice silver trim around the door handle. That's also a nice design. And I already mentioned the fact that we have that the stone color on the switch gear as well, which is a very interesting uh, way to do things. And that keeps the fingerprints away, and I think it looks good. We get to the dash. We have, again, more soft touch up top with cross stitching, silver trim, and down here we have a nice large glove box. All right, now we're looking at the infotainment system, and of course this is the standard 10.25-inch Hyundai infotainment system. Touchscreen action, yep, nice and smooth. Dual panel action, absolutely, which I like. We have wired Apple CarPlay, wired Android Auto. We have driver profiles and all that good stuff in here. Wi-Fi hotspot, the whole nine yards. Nice looking. We put this car in reverse. Here is the backup camera. Nice and clear with trajectory. There's no 360 degree degree cameras in the car but overall a very nice infotainment screen down below we have our our four-way hazards and two heat and air vents down here we have dual climate action which is nice and we have three stage heated seats for the driver and front passenger which is a nice touch below that we have a 12 volt and two USBs and a wireless charging pad right down there. Here's the push buttons to go through this 8-speed automatic with some gloss black around here, so be careful for scratches and fingerprints there. Our Hyundai key fob. What we're looking at here, we have lock, unlock, pop the trunk, panic button, remote start. Nice weight, nice looking. Two cup holders, and as we get over to the center armrest, semi-soft armrest, open it up, and you have nice storage in there. All right, looking at the Hyundai steering wheel, we have a nice leather wrapped or maybe faux leather wrapped steering wheel, not sure, it's hard to tell. Ten nice 10 and 2 notches, we do have some cross stitch which is nice and silver trim around the wheel which is nice. Hyundai badge in the middle. We have on the left side, flat black on the switch gear, we have our telephone and voice commands on the left. And then we have our cruise control and safety suite controls on the right. We do not have paddles in this particular Sonata. And then the stalks, we have the left stalk for our headlight controls, the right stalk for our windshield wipers. Down below, brighten and dim the dash, on and off lane keep assist, pop the trunk, traction control off, electric emergency brake, and as we come in to this dash, we do have the 12.3 inch digital dash from Hyundai. This is part of the convenience package, so you add the convenience package in and you get this digital cluster, which is a nice deal. We go through the drive modes. We have, let me start up, we have custom our custom setting and then we have our sport setting look at that that is so cool and then we have normal and we go back to normal and then we have smart and we go to, to smart it pretty much stays the same I like the sport that looks so wicked cool stuff here on this infotainment system from Hyundai and nice job to put this in when you grab the convenience package on the option list all right overhead console time LED lighting here on the inside of this Sonata, this button is pushed in, and when that's pushed in, you open the door, the lights come on, door, the lights go off, here's the control for our sunroof, SOS button, Hyundai Connect, all sitting in there, very nicely done. Here is our vanity with mirror, and then, does it slide? Yes, to block out the sun coming in from the side, very nicely done. All right, we are in the back of this 2023 Sonata. And I'm liking the room back here. Five foot eleven, plenty of headroom, plenty of shoulder width room. The seat is set for my driving position, plenty of knee space. I like the consistency of design front to back. We have the same materials in the back as we do in the front with the same design language, which I think makes it look really, really nice. And 
you got that oversized sunroof which is going to give me more light in the back as well so overall it's a really nice place to be in the back of this 2023 sonata sel with convenience don't forget that all right rear console time for the back passengers we have two heat and air vents and a usb a so we, they got you covered for connectivity in the back there is no seat pocket behind the driver but there is a seat pocket behind the front passenger for the rear seat passengers and then as we move around we have our center armrest nice and soft two cup holders same design language in the back as well of the as well as the front in this sonata and i think it looks really nice all right we have popped the trunk on the sonata we have a cargo net which is nice here are the carpeted floor mats with the sonata name embroidered in the carpeted cargo mat with the Sonata name embroidered in, which is nice. We come away underneath here, and we do have a spare tire down there and the wheel lock. So thank you, Hyundai, for supplying a spare. And overall, you got a good amount of space, and you can also take the rear seats down using these buttons. So if we pull these releases, we can then go around to the side of the car. And pull the seats down. It's a 60-40 split. 40 on the left, 60 on the right. And then we can come over here. Push that down. And then we have a little bit of a kick up, but a lot more space for those longer items. So again, another good use of space from Hyundai in these sedans that we've been reviewing. Nice job. All right, we are driving the 2023 Hyundai Sonata SEL with the convenience package. First impressions, we've driven this a couple miles already, is the car is very light on its feet. Just like the Kia K5, which I've been in several of those, this is my first time in the Sonata. And it's very light on its feet. The steering is very direct. No play in the wheel at all. You point the car where you want it to go and it goes. Suspension really well damped. Soaks up the bumps. No shakes, rattles, or rolls at all. Feels comfortable, which is what this SEL is supposed to be like. If you want to go sporty in the Sonata, you can get the Sonata N-Line, which is two trim levels up from the SEL. In between you got the SEL plus now my recommendation if you're going SEL is to go SEL with the convenience package rather than SEL plus and save yourself a couple of grand because you can get almost everything in the SEL plus with SEL plus convenience and save yourself a little money but if you want N line or limited you got to pay pay up more N line starts just under 35 G's before options just so you know, <clears throat> if you want to go that way. But if you want to stay with this, this uh, regular car trim, the SCL is a nice way to go with the convenient package. You get the digital dash, you get the bigger infotainment screen, you got your Apple CarPlay, you got your Android Auto, you got your heated seats, you got your wireless charging pad. Uh, you know, I'm cool. I think this is a great place to be in the Sonata lineup. Could be the sweet spot. Don't know yet because this is my first one in the Sonata range, but this could be the sweet spot in the lineup is this Sonata SEL with the convenience. If you <clears throat> Let me know what you think in the comments about that. Let me know how you feel about the Sonata versus K5. Again, I'm going to have to withhold judgment on that because this is my first drive in a Sonata ever. I've driven all the K5s multiple times, so I'm very familiar with that car. But this one feels really, really good. Overall, feels a lot like the K5 does, which I think that's a good thing. Even though, you know, Hyundai and Kia are uh, the same company, the model lines are their own. And Kia goes one direction and Hyundai goes in a little bit different direction and I think that's a good thing because it brings variations between the cars in each of the car makers lineups so if you're a fan of Korean cars like I am 
let's say own a couple of Kias, um, then I think you'll you'll know what I'm talking about uh, because they are value based cars for sure. Just and Hyundai a little bit fancier than Kia, but it still brings the value when it comes to the options that are in this car. Now this is the naturally aspirated engine. Obviously, you bump up the N line you're gonna get the turbo action going and a lot more horsepower and a lot more sportiness. But this 191 horsepower, two and a half liter uh, inline four, does the job getting this car up to speed really quite effortlessly. This is not a fast car by any stretch of the imagination, so don't think it is. Uh, zero to 60 estimate based on testing from car and driver and some other uh, motor Trend and some other publications were looking at almost 8 seconds, 7.9 seconds. This is not a fast car, but it's a competent car to get you around town, and there's enough power to get this up to speed so you don't feel like you're getting left behind when you try to merge onto the highway, which is what we're going to do right now as we come up to Interstate 295. <clears throat> So onto the on-ramp, we're in the sport mode action as well on this drive. I love the way that sport blasts onto the screen though when you switch the modes. I think that is so cool. But we're just going to do a little, try to do a little zip in here. Oh well, that suffers a bit. Turbocharge action would have had you straight out there. This one took a little while to get up there, but it got up there. And now we're cruising on the highway. Feel a little bit of wind noise. It's really windy out today, so you feel a little bit of wind noise, a little bit of road noise. I'm getting blown around out here, though. It is really windy today. You can feel the wind smacking into the side of the car right now not getting a lot of feedback through the steering wheel but I'm getting a little bit which is better than nothing you know because this thing is going to get tuned for inline action but we're going to get off and we're going to hit it hard yeah <laughs> this little car this car's got some fun and we're on the brakes and we're turning in this way now we're going to hit the opposite way hey you know what this isn't half bad for not being the sport trim <laughs> that was <laughs> oh god you know i can have fun in any car at all but that was fun this car even though it's not fast has got some pretty good handling because you know they're going to sharpen this up for end line duty but that was fun that was that was fun this car has got got some handling to it uh you know nice job there hyundai even in this scl we got a little bit of handling going on. Now the tires, obviously, being all-season tires, are going to let it down. And certainly if I felt the car sliding a little bit, because the all-seasons just don't have the grip as a performance tire would. Uh, but still, great fun here in this Sonata SEL. Great fun. And, a, you know, a nice place to be here in the cockpit of this Sonata. Everything is really easy to get to. I can change my heat and air settings my dual climate action no problem i can get onto the to the uh, screen and change whatever i want to change right here very intuitive very easy to reach from your driving position so i think that's important plenty of visibility out the front and side glass nice big side view mirrors this has your uh, safety suite right we got blind spot monitoring cross traffic alert road sign recognition, lane keep assist, all that jazz in this Sonata SEL convenience. So that's an, another good thing to have all that action going on. Make sure you're safe on the highway. Uh, but overall, I enjoyed the, the drive in this car. I enjoyed this car. I think it's a very competitive offering in the midsize sedan market at this price of just over $31,000 MSRP for what you get on the interior. You know, I think maybe people could criticize the fact that this has some type of cloth material in it. I, I'm not going to say it's cloth. 
it's more like Semtex or something like that uh, rather than maybe some leather trim but it's two-tone action I can understand they need to do this to keep the price down cut a, you know so eventually all car makers are going to have to make compromises to get the price to a price point so I can understand the seating but I like the dual tone or excuse me the two-tone action on the door panels and everything else it's a fun car you got the oversized sunroof which I think is a nice nice option with this convenience package as well as well as this digital dash which is also part of this convenience package so if you're looking at an SEL get the convenience package it's going to give you some nice stuff a great package and it's going to save you some dolaries but anyway I want to thank Hyundai of Trenton for allowing the channel access to this carbon blue 2023 Sonata SEL convenience for review today I want to thank all of you for watching if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a like Please also consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.